Good morning. Welcome to Homesteading Northwest Florida. It is Sunday, May 26 at 8.45 in the morning, quarter to nine. Sunday, May 26, 2024. And what is the temperature now? It was like 70 something this morning. Now it's 80. It's going to be another hot one, probably 93. So today, uh, well, I'm doing some watering, and I moved all my containers, my pots of seeds, which I did replant with all seeds so that they actually, so I can save them, and they don't, they're going to go bad anyhow with 90 degrees. I do have some in the refrigerator, and we're going to see what happens in this area. I think they were getting too much sun in the other area. But we'll see what grows. Have multiple things planted here. Got some parsley coming up here. And these are my cuttings of gardenia. And uh, uh, what is that? Copper top verburnum cuttings that I took and put rooting hormone. I, those need to be like separated and repotted. I'm just gonna, they're doing their thing. Gonna wait for those. And I'm also going to do my air rooting. I air rooted these uh, gardenia, tropical gar white gardenia. Oh, we got some insect damage here. Ooh, yucca. So, oh, maybe they got ran into some BT. I should actually just pour BT over that area because I am bringing that out. But it's in the refrigerator now that... Uh, Bacillus thrombergiosis, uh, which is a bacteria that kills uh, worms that eat your plants, or caterpillars that eat your plants. And we actually have a tomato going on here, and yep, you can see a little bit more insect damage there. Today we are drilling for uh, our soffit vents. I got my hole saw here, three inch hole saw. And we're drilling holes, and I'm going to paint this area real quickly. And this is how I have my paint. I got these containers, Sure Fresh Rectangular, uh, 20, at uh, uh, Dollar General. And they were only, you know, a dollar something. And then I glued a block of wood at the bottom with uh, epoxy. And uh, that's how I keep my paint. Because paint is getting expensive, and I'm not going to let it dry up and waste a whole bunch. So we're going to paint this area and install a soffit vent. A 3-inch uh, Maurice somebody soffit vent. So uh, I recently made a soaker hose out of PEX piping. And you do have to have an adjustable spigot. Your, your shut off, it can't be a half turn, it has to be adjustable. So, uh, and actually you can see the water pressure go up and down, like probably as your neighbors even use their uh, water. So these are getting watered here now. Uh, for the temperatures that are going to happen. So we're getting a little water on these and sometimes I turn it down so that the water jets out in a different spot. And sometimes it'll just do it on its own. Like if I use the other hose, it'll, uh, and this is just, uh, the, if I use the other hose, the pressure will go down and then water this in a different spot, which is just fine, you know, as long as it's in this area watering these trees at the base of these trees so yeah i kind of like it and we'll see how long it lasts uh, because i don't know how many of the other soaker hoses i have purchased very many and we'll see how the animals do with this and the lawnmower uh this is very noticeable so that the and there's just a hole drilled little hole drilled and it's as simple as you can get oh I'd like to turn this down a little bit that one's going over we, we need a different spot here 
so what I'm going to go do is turn down my water. And what do we have here? Copper top viburnum, viburnum here. Copper top viburnum. I also air rooted this. It's kind of having a rough uh, uh, late spring here. Rough sp uh, spring. I've been watering it, and uh, it kind of, you know, I don't know if we had a we had a somewhat of a drought like in spring. So. And we got uh, Tithonia diversifolia, the seeded annual version here. And then we got some zinnias growing here and morning glories. So that's what we got. That's what we got going on there, and I'm going to turn down my hose just a little bit, and I did make a mark here. There we go, that'll change it a little bit. But this is not, I was like, oh, I didn't buy the half turn. Well, now I'm lucky I didn't buy a half turn spigot, because this is very adjustable. That's something that you need uh, to make this type of system work with uh you know the pex piping or i heard drip irrigation you need to have uh for for the other kind of drip irrigation where you got to buy you know tons of other stuff emitters you know I, I i i don't know about you guys but i'm just tired of buying stuff from amazon and you know then you got to then you got to puncture this and then this type of emitter and this and this well you know guess what this is emitting it's emitting water through a hole you know and i like this for me i like to keep things simple keeping it simple here emitting water through a hole hole in a piece of pipe and hopefully this will last a lot longer than my other soaker hoses and uh keep these trees alive over the uh, summer here. Well, that one's still going where I don't really want it to go. But I can kind of change that by moving this hose. At least I can see it. Like the other hoses, I had the black hose. And uh, it would get so covered, I let it get covered with weeds so that I couldn't even move it, which that'll happen here. Got weeds like crazy in Northwest Florida.